The NLC and TUC plans to embark on strike isn't news to us, but let me break it down. After the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited last week Wednesday announced a new price template of oil pump price increase from 197 naira per litre to over 500 naira per litre, varying in different states, the Nigerian Labour Congress (NLC) and the Trade Union Congress (TUC) had threatened to embark on nationwide strike on Wednesday. The modern increase in minimum wage to 200,000 and tax holidays for workers to ease the hardships of high cost of transportation, food item, and other commodities caused by the about 200% increase in pump price, with the minimum wage still stagnant at 30,000 naira. But government had filed a shift to prevent the strike, and the court ordered NLC to stay away any planned strike and fixed June 19 for hearing. The duo agreed to suspend the planned nationwide strike to enable further consultations as well as continue the ongoing engagement and secure closure on the resolutions. Reading out the communique issued at the end of the meeting, the chief of staff, Femi Gajabi Amila, who led the government side, said seven resolutions were reached to address the situation. The statement further reads that the federal government, the TUC and the NLC would establish a joint committee to review the proposal for any wage increase or award and establish a framework and timeline for implementation. Bajabi Amila added that the meeting also agreed to review issues hindering effective delivery in the education sector and propose solutions for implementation. To good governance. Uh, we have deliberated um, and debated uh, back and forth, and we have reached, as has been said, a tentative um, agreement on uh, very salient uh, issues. Uh, and I will just basically read what we have here. And it says, following the engagements between the federal government. Here at all, the NLC kicked against a court order secured by the federal government restraining the Congress and the Trade Union Congress from embarking on the planned strike. The NLC president, Joe Ajaro himself, said the strike would go on on a Wednesday as planned, noting that the industrial court order came late after the close of business and the NLC is not aware of it and it wasn't even mentioned in the meeting and that they won't even find anybody at the NLC office to serve it to as they would all be on the field mobilizing for the strike. At first, Nigerians thought it's going to be a mayhem between the Congress and the government with that statement by the Congress president. But as we have it, things shaped up between the parties. Meanwhile, Aviation and bank workers unions have directed their members to join the strike which is expected to ground airports operations and banking activities at all financial institutions nationwide. Members of the Petroleum Product Retail Outlet Owners Association of Nigeria, National Association of Road Transport Owners and Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria, among others, also stressed that the over 13 trillion naira spent on subsidy by the federal government without being deployed to develop other sectors of the economy. They insisted that the government, through the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, had run out of funds to sustain the full subsidy regime, enlighten the over 2.8 trillion naira subsidy debt that the Federation currently holds, the NNPCL. The president of the Petroleum Products Retail Outlet Owners Association of Nigeria, Billy Gillis Harris, said, those agitating for the continuation of subsidy must understand that the country had spent over 13 trillion naira in subsidizing petrol at the detriment of key sectors of the economy. Said the Labour Congress should give room for dialogue, stressing that oil marketers would not shut their filling station as the NLC embarks on its nationwide industrial action. President of the National Association of Road Transport Owners, Yusuf Uthman, said NATO endorsed the immediate halt on the payment of subsidy on petrol and that they expect some palliative to be put in place. He also urged Nigerians to be patient with the federal government and noted that there are few beneficiaries of the subsidy regime. What does the future hold for Nigerians with the current situation of things? How will the common man survive with the increase in fuel price? Keep your answers coming in the section below.